John in Melbourne, Australia writes to me, Paul, do we have any insights from physics and electronics to explain to the layman why the last few feet matter in power cabling to your amplifier? Is it wave theory, not electron flow, that explains it? Is it the nature of circuits and their behavior? It's certainly beyond capacitance, resistance, and inductance that is at work. Material science is at play here. Got any updates for us, Paul, to help the deniers adjust their lenses? <laughs> well, <laughs> first off, deniers are not going to adjust their lenses no matter what I say. I mean, if I've learned ah anything, don't stand up against something that's going to move. If I've learned anything over the, my 75 years here on the planet, it's that we don't change our minds very easily. We tend to listen to evidence that supports what we believe and stay away from evidence that supports a belief that we don't share, right? So we're, we're, we're definitely creatures who love a good story. We're creatures that don't want to be argued with and it's rare that we're open enough to hearing other arguments and learning because ah, it's just not quite in our nature. So I, I never have any illusions that I'm going to change the, 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 the uh, opinions of, of the deniers of all of this stuff. And I find it fascinating. I, I'm no different. I don't, I'm not trying to come across that, you know, well, I'm so much better because, you know, I, I get it and you, you just don't. No, not at all. I'm, I'm just as bad where I'm, I'm human, right? That's just part of our nature. I am fascinated, though, how people who have no experience, zero experience with something, come up with these fixed things only because it goes against the grain of their thought process. That I won't own up to. I don't have strong opinions about things that I don't have experience with. I have opinions, but I'm open to change. I'm open to learning about something that I don't particularly know something about. I get people all the time who have never been around a high-end audio system, who have never actually made the experiment on the right system to see what they thought, right? It's just, nope, that can't be because it doesn't fit my view of reality. Eh. I'm not too big on that. All right, enough of a, enough of a rant. Um, do I know for sure? No. Can I give you some clues? Yes. First thing to remember, on AC circuit, which is what the uh, power coming out of the wall is, is a loop. It's not from here to there and ends, okay? Because AC, is moving back and forth like this on the wire, all right? It's, it's a loop. It, it isn't like what, you know, even, even DC is a loop because we've got, a, we call it a return, right? And in some parlances, we have a hot and a return. We have a neutral and, and a hot, however you want to put it. But to remember that it's at a loop. So, you're not at the end, it's not the last three feet of a wire, that's in the middle of the wire. So just picture this loop and your piece of equipment is stuck in the middle of that loop and the AC is going around. So that's our first misconception. So I think that kind of helps give you a little bit different picture of what's going on. Secondly, the noise levels the radiated EMI, the noise that comes out of our amplifiers, our DACs, our, our, our equipment is far higher than at the wall. So if you come six feet out, let's say your average power cable is a, a one meter, two meter power cable, and let's say you're three to six feet out into the room, and you take, go down to the hardware store and buy one of these things, the, the little noise sniffers, and you sniff around, there's a ton of radiated noise out there. And it's one of the reasons that isn't at the wall, okay? And it's one of the reasons why a shield, a properly shielded power cable makes a difference. And what does it mean to be properly shielded? 
properly shielded means that you have a good shield on the power cable that is tied only at the male end of the plug. At the female end of the plug, that shield should not be connected. Otherwise, it's simply a conduit. So that's why any kind of high-end power cable worth its salt has its ground, the shield to it, terminated at the male end to get rid of that noise. So you're putting it into a noisy environment. The cable that you're feeding all that power into, you want to keep that as clean and noise-free as possible. And what else? I don't know. I don't know that I have a lot else to offer on that. I certainly don't have all the answers. It's easy to hear if you want to, if you want to come and listen on a highly resolving system, you can hear it for yourself and then you can start to question, like, I don't know why, but there's a couple of answers for you right there. Do I have all of them? Nope, but there's a few for you. Okay. Thanks. Good luck with those deniers.